Obviously, today is a day to look back on the 30 years of the space shuttle program, which I really actually see as a 50-year program, because the original designs for a space shuttle were, were completed uh, before the Apollo 11 moon landing. So this was a dream of America for a very long time. It's a dream that was fulfilled and has worked successfully for three decades. All honor to the astronauts who traveled into space, to the scientific exploration that was done and research, and to the crafts that carried them there. Honor to those who gave their lives on both the Challenger and the Columbus. At the same time, this is a bittersweet moment. There's the bitterness of the ending of the program, but there's also the sweetness that what comes next could be even greater, that we could be going to Mars in the future, that we could be, that the next step is to take a visit to an asteroid, which we've never really done before. That's pretty exciting. Um, the other practical consideration is that we're in a pretty bad economic situation. We have to weigh every single expenditure, and when we're making cuts to preschool education and health care, you know, we have to weigh whether or not that $450 million price tag for every space shuttle launch is worth it. The other sweet thing, and I wanted to actually respond to one listener who called in and said that he didn't want to see rich people um, on space tourist trips going to this International Space Station and back. And you know what? I got to say I disagree with you there. Um, throughout human history, as long as we've had money, Rich people, for good or ill, have been funding all the things that the rest of us can't afford. They paid for J.S. Box cantatas. The church paid for incredible music from Monteverdi. The, it was the rich that helped to pay for Michelangelo's statues. It's been the rich for a long time that funded opera, which is an incredibly expensive entertainment, and the rest of us couldn't afford it if we actually had to pay the real ticket price. So judge it ill or judge it good, that's kind of the way human society works. So if rich people traveling on some kind of spacecraft helps to fund future exploration and experimentation, I say go for it. Rich people, buy those tickets. That's my take.